welcome back to part two. This part we're going to be exploring changing colors, blending colors, and adding text. So we have this wonderful design here of your scribble. And so we want to be using our scribble into our text. So our next thing is we're going to go and learn about our text tool. So we have a text tool and we're going to be using the horizontal type tool to add text. We just need to simply click on it, come over to your art board where you're working, click, and we're going to write C M Y K. If some of your text is off the art board, you'll need to go up to your move tool, and we learned that last time in our tutorial. And let's move it over. We'll be able to move this wherever we like. Now one of the great functions of Photoshop and what we're going to be learning is using our text tools. So we're going to go back to the text tool and we're going to highlight our text and I want everyone to choose at the top of the menu bar if you didn't catch that is where we're going to find our font list by clicking at the top of the menu, the arrow down and we can simply type in the typeface that we're looking for. F-U-T-U-R-A. Return. <clears throat> now there's two types of this. There's a medium and a bold. Let me see if you can find the bold. Your size of your typeface, we're going to go down to 72. So Futura bold at 72 points. Now we'll go back to our move tool for us to leave the text tool. Our next thing is to add a new layer. So that lets us have to learn about our layer control panel. Our layer control panel shows where our layers are. And we started with any document, a background layer. When we brought in our scribble, it created a new layer. And when we created a type, it created a new layer. Notice that what you type appears as the name of the type. Down below the menus palette at the bottom are a lot of features that we're going to be learning. We'll even make a song out of it. But the one that we need to know is create a new layer. Looks like a page folded in the corner. Click on it. And nothing's going to happen. All you do is add a layer at the top. And the structure of adding layers on top to work follows in all programs of design, whether you're on an iPad, iPhone, or on the computer. Now that we have our picture, we're going to come over to the paint bucket which allows us to paint a solid color across the layer. And how do we get to a color? Well, right down below, you'll see a square. Yours is probably black and white. Double click on the black. On the right side, you'll see a spectrum. That is the colors you get to choose from. And then within the spectrum, you get your tints and your tints and shades. Pick any color, whatever color you like, and go ahead, hit OK. Come on over 